The Bridge of the Damned. And there's the Keeper, making sure the dead are really dead. What is that he holds? That totem contains a powerful source of magical energy, the very power of Helheim itself. But what you want is his hand. Just take it and we can leave. How? Start some trouble. You can do that, right?
Now the heart, brother. You'll have to get your hands dirty. You're set. Can't not to linger here, though, eh? Kratos. Zeus. Zeus? My father. Your father was Zeus? Well, that explains a lot. What is that place? Never go there. Understand? How is he here? That is not possible. It's just an illusion. Hell's known for torturing its inhabitants with their own past. We should focus on getting back to your son. Psst. Yeah. Supposed to be here. It's cold. Real quick, give me your blades. Why? Yeah, I said I'd help you and I aim to. Come on. Oh, my equipment's in Midgard. Be right back. Yeah. You don't suppose he'd nick those, do you? There. And now they're ready for the winds of hell. Just target this magical glowy bit here with your blades and throw. Now target that wind trap with you. See that? Tell you to absorb and release the winds of hell whenever it damn pleases. So you're welcome and I believe. I sometimes wonder if there was once some sort of accident in his brain. We have been away too long. Yeah. <laughs> 
sorry, brother. I'm still stuck on what I heard back there. Zeus was your father? Not now. We should focus on getting out of hell. And with that, I cannot argue. I'll just contemplate that little nugget in silence, then. Go! Oh. 
get home to your boy already. We shouldn't delay, brother. It's straight back to Midgard with that heart. Understand? I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta! Do not call me that. Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. It's still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. Hey, so you know that shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Might be some kinks to sort out, but you'll make it. Just go, brother. Well, this isn't right. Ah, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. He is still ill. I can break the fever, but to heal... He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. Babe in my arms was so small, so helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him, no matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple. But nothing is when it involves your child. It is a curse. The boy has been cursed.
That's Vanaheim, isn't it? Sorry. Guess we're going. Now then, before Modi so rudely interrupted us, we were just about to explore Tyr's vault. Yes, to find the Black Rune. Boy, do you know the way from here? Oh, I don't know. Sure you do, lad. We need a boat. I don't know. I guess we need a boat. Okay then. Washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But... After all this, I thought... Maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth? I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is... I was born a god. And so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I had hoped to spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, you will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So... Maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own. You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. 
Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Rock and Sindri? They do not need to know. Boulder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Fair's Vault, do we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? I will show you. Let's try this again, without interruptions. Here we go again. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. I wish I had known I was a god in Elfheim. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their lives upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do. And they were on the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much strong. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. <laughs> the god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful. Using his power and knowledge to stop wars, rather than start them. So there are good gods. Once in a moon, it's been known to happen, yes? This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for Aesir. The same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jonhard Tower. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Where is the battle? I don't know. I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it! think it would be that easy. No. It's kind of hoping, though. So what now? <laughs> what of these? Thought is faster than wind. Solving problems with our heads rather than our feet. Suits me fine. <laughs>
You know, for someone so loved, Tyr sure was paranoid. Aye. Thanks to Odin, with good reason. Brother, up there! The winds of hell! The winds of what? Oh, we forgot to mention that. When you were sick, we went to Helheim to get your cure. You did? Yeah. Your dad picked up a new trick, though, with a little help. Rock was there, too? I... but... We'll get back to this later. Well, that's unfriendly. Passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. It's too small for Bobby. No. Fine. <laughs> Careful, brother. Rhea's not here to bring you back if you're cutting too. forget why we are here. Okay.
did you see in that vault that set you off? It is not important. Seemed important to you. It was a rash impulse. You need not dwell on my failings. Wow. That was almost an apology. Well, I guess you do like to smash pottery. Ah! Stands to reason the second ring should behave like the first. Just need to capture the winds. hurts me or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to. Small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch, brother. Good luck. <laughs> and I thought those saw were scary. Look! It's the wolf giants. Skull and Hati. That's right. The bringers of day and night. Ragnarok begins when they catch the sun and moon. Right? Did Tyr know them? I don't know. Like them well enough to cover a massive wall in his vault with them, though. Enjoy it at all? Being a god? On an adventure in some amazing place? Maybe Mother wanted us to have a little fun. Everything we've seen and done. Maybe it was her gift.
Clever. See what Tears got for us. No, raised protection. It rubbed off. But there it is. We've got it. Boy. weapon, any weapon, comes from here, 
but only when tempered by this. By the discipline, the self-control of the one who wields it. That is where the true strength of a warrior lies. You must never forget that. Good then. God. I have beaten Vader. Puny troll. Yeah. I'm turned around. Which way is the sand bowl back up? end. Really? It smells like rotten eggs. Is it still good? Possibly. Mm. 
Father, why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? It's just, you hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Yes. Ah. Uh. But who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet, Head. We are. We know better. Uh huh. Sounding more like your da by the moment. Ready. Ready. Come. I think I'm gonna like being a god. <laughs> 